So part of today's workout, we've got a one RM thruster, um, finding our one RM max. I think mine's going to be around that 100, 110 mark, I think. Um, and then we've got, what is it, 11 point what? Three, I think. Then we've got 11 point three. So yeah, let's get into it. Get it? Nice. Yes! How bad is that for you? It's tough. How tough? Scale of one to ten. Not on the shoulders. <laughs> now we've got to do burpees. Now three minutes of burpees. <laughs> oh shit. Hang on, 58. Did you? I think. Potentially 58 from him. No idea how many from me. Uh, it's supposed to be a deload week this week. It is a deload week. Oh, it's not me thinking it's deload, is it? Fucking 110 thruster. Yeah, it's just. All those thrusters. It's the it? heaviest work out of the week. Is it? The rest is just. A lot more skills and engine. So, Dilo week, skills and engine work for the rest of the week. Heaviest work out of the week done. How's it going, guys? Afternoon. Hello. We uh, just bailed out of uh, Virgin Active. Just finished a uh, cheeky little swimming session as part of our recovery for the week. Feeling um, nice and loose, loosey goosey. Very loosey goosey. You know, feeling fresh after that. You know, nice and fresh in my new med cans. So um, yeah, we, um, we this week is our uh, delo week, which is good. Um, I think we we got a session in yesterday, one heavy session. Yeah. Um, that was a and then we actually filmed this yesterday, but we felt oh I'll come out this way. We felt so beaten up. It was just such a negative. <laughs> we just sounded. We sounded negative. like moody little bitches yesterday. Basically, pretty much. Yeah, I was pretty moody. Yeah, it was it was rough. I mean, we didn't do too badly. No, we. Didn't I mean, right. I got 24. You got 21 on the 
um, thrusters basically in the work at the open 11.3. Yeah. And then burpees, I got, what did I get? I got 47. 47 and you got 56? 57. 57? No, you got 48. 48. And you got 57. 48 and 57, yeah, yeah. 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 So how our deload week kind of works is we're programmed in with two full recovery days pretty much. Yeah. Um, and those two full recovery days uh, either do nothing, yeah. uh, maybe some stretching. So like for example, we'd do ROM wads probably. Yeah. Or we could pretty much, trying to think which is quickest, uh, yeah probably. Or we could pretty much um, just choose something different to do. About a different sport, different exercise, just get some different movement in. Um, so we, I'm just, I'm letting Rob direct me here, so this could be dangerous. London um, roads. Yeah, it's all right, we're cool, we've got an ambulance in case we get hit. Um, that's what we're kind of saying about, about utilizing different forms of training. Um, like one of the girls put into the group about going bouldering today. Yeah. Uh, we would have done if not, if we didn't have work, but it's stuff like that. It's like, they're the kind of things, oh jeez, we need to be over. They're the kind of things we need to, um, we want to be adding in, just doing something different, doing a different sport, yeah. doing different type of exercise. So, because we're just, as much as it's great, and like that's the beauty of CrossFit. CrossFit's so varied, but in a recovery week, it's nice to throw in something totally new. We're coming up to uh, the Protein House. It's becoming our new, our new go-to place. Sell Narcos, sell some good, basically, pretty much all the protein gear. <sighs> First impressions of Protein House, um, protein shakes, banging. Um, I got apple pie, what'd you get? Uh, English breakfast. What, how'd you find it, what's it taste like? Fucking incredible. Does it taste like English breakfast? No, I'm not but sure it how it can I don't taste know, like it's, it's like got blueberries and banana in it, so I don't quite get the English breakfast bit, but it tastes freaking incredible. So, cool. Uh, but yeah, so back to, back to just a bit about the deload week and recovery. We're gonna essentially have, we're walking back to the mansion now, aren't we here? Yeah, yeah. Um, this week is pretty much going to be Monday we lifted, Tuesday is our recovery day like this, uh, Wednesday going to, we've got, it's, one, it's conditioned, it's condition, like a, yeah one condition session, it's going to be quite a rough one, but it's, it's, uh, it's quite intense. Yeah. And then, um, Thursday will just be skills, yeah. so we'll just do that in our own time, like our own pace, mm. um, so that'll just be a session in the box. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so session in the box and then Friday is where we're starting to um, simulate what the open's going to be like. So obviously this is our first open, neither of us have done anything like this before. So it'll be Friday interesting. Friday actually includes um, a repeat of the, so this will be the first repeat session um, that me and Rob have ever done. Yeah, that'd um, be really good to see how fit we've got in the last, say six weeks or so. So, <laughs> sorry, just enjoying our shakes. <laughs> I guess the key, the key to the, the thing today is so in a deload week, so what we would usually recommend is obviously we're you know we're keeping training in there for a couple of other days, but they don't have to be training, they literally can be total recovery days. Yeah. You know, go get, complete, go get a massage done, treat yourself for God's sake. Yeah, complete days off, completely fine. If you prefer to have a day off, take a day off. If you prefer to just do something so you feel like you know being active, something like swimming is great, it's a massive. It's a proper de-stress on the body. It, oh, you just feel amazing afterwards. Anyone that can swim, that does swimming, knows how good it feels. You just feel amazing. Majority of um, majority of programs will recommend we'll go right. Uh, majority of programs will, you know, will recommend that you take a deload every three weeks, mm. um, which I'm pretty comfortable with that. I, I'm also I've been really bad at taking deloads over the over the years. So, but even even though this is kind of telling us to have a deload every say. Every every fourth week, I'm. I don't necessarily think that's the way I always want to do it because I kind of like to take a deal when I feel I'm starting to need it rather than being told right you need to take a deal because if I feel like I'm peaking and I'm feeling really good, to then go and suddenly take a deal can sometimes feel a bit de detrimental. But I guess we're all different, and that's the thing. It's understanding how you understanding your body and finding yeah, what works best with, for you. Especially with CrossFit, listen to your body mm. because you're going through so many different types of movements in your training and you're training so many different energy systems. You have to, so you know, that might, a deload week might actually be just that you don't train one energy system for mm. a week. Um, or it might be that you just don't do any heavy lifting for a week but you keep the conditioning work in there. I think that's a big thing is you've got to win, and that's a great bit about having coaches to work with. So when you're in a box, it's great because you've got coaches to ask the questions to. Um, 
and, and you know try and get advice all the time ask people ask other coaches around you and other trainers that you meet when you're in the gyms you know what would they do in this situation and try and get a, a bit of extra advice to put the pieces of your puzzle together mm. as to uh, what's your best way to do it so as I said you know you might decide that that is avoiding a heavy lifting session all week or you might have decided that's do, not doing any conditioning work all week so as, as always with pretty much nutrition training it all depends it all depends on you and the individual that's why it's really important because the more you keep track of what you're doing the more accurate you know how, you know results are so that you know when to take certain things like take the deloads or maybe you know increase your calories or whatever where we go we go that way so overall it's been a, it was a great day today feeling a lot better than yesterday yeah feeling a lot fresher so ready for another session gonna finish up well pretty much nearly done this um now you, you've got a long way to go okay probably gonna leave that there today um try and get some footage from some of the conditioning session maybe tomorrow something yeah, like yeah, lucy's class Lu lucy's classes are always uh, pretty tough she's a regionals athlete so she knows what it's like competing at the highest level well pretty much the highest level so uh yeah we'll catch you guys in the next video yeah, yeah sweet peace.